Alright, hello everybody. I didn't really get anything written down to uh, talk about today on this, but I do want to share a dream, man. It was a beautiful dream, but it was interrupted by people with guns. Uh, that's what I, I was seeing, you know, like the Lord. First, what I seen in this dream was I seen like moons in the sky, like there were three of them on one side, then I seen some more uh, behind me. Like, they looked like moons, white. And they were like, some of them were fading in and out, and then some were bright, and then brighter, and then some would appear again, like, in, in just the clouds, you know, as they were moving. And I was pointing them, and nobody seemed to be able to see them. Nobody. And then uh, I turned around and uh, was working with somebody, doing something. They were setting up work where they were all working in the world. And I said, well, what am I supposed to do? And they said, well, you know, they really didn't know. And they set something up like a veil in between something. And I don't understand what that was all about. But uh, I took and uh, I ended up going on the other side of the bank of a river. And I just laid down on the other bank of the river. And I just kept watching the sky. And then, uh, then I seen what looked like a blue planet. Real huge going by. And I'm going... Now, there's no way you can tell me you don't see that. And they were all like, you know, like paranoid kind of, you know. And then it started descending onto the earth. You know, from looking like a planet to descending on the earth. And I could see that it was like, like spirit. It was like, like, like a, a cloud of, of some type of a, like spirit is what it was. It wasn't a planet like I thought. And then it just came down. It looked like a huge planet going by. Then it came down. And then somebody was taken up in it. Was taken away in it. And I'm like, whoa, what happened? You know, I ran over there. Then I got pulled up into it. And, uh, and I'm, then I heard the voice saying, can anybody feed the world like I can? And... Uh, and I'm going, nobody, Lord, but you, only you can do this. And then all of a sudden, out of the out of the inside of it, a big blue hat came down, like for me, and I put it on. You ever seen those big tall hats that like in Alice in Wonderland or something like that, where that guy that's walking around with that big hat, um, just a huge hat, it was huge. Well, I put that on, it was a blue hat. And uh, then all of a sudden I started hearing boom, 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 where people were shooting at it. And then all of a sudden I'm looking at these people and go, what the heck? What is wrong with you? And uh, they, uh, I ended up waking up from it, you know. But they were looking like they were all confused, fearful, you know. And that's why it says the fearful will not enter the kingdom of heaven, you know. But it was a beautiful dream. I was really loving it, you know, and I was looking forward to it where the world, they're not going to be. They're going to be fearful, you know. So you guys, with that, man, listen, just sit back, be patient. When he comes, man, you're going to know it. You, you know what? You're going to know by what the world is doing and how, how we are. You know, those with the spirit of God and the spirit of the world. You're going to know it clearly, man. The way the world is going to act, you know, because they got a different spirit. God bless you guys. I love you. It's in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ.